Hello everybody and welcome back to the Gamer Donnie channel here on YouTube. I'm Gamer Donnie and today we're going to play some Mega Truck Simulator. Today we're going from Gallup to New Gales, Gallup, New Mexico to New Gales, uh, just across the uh, border there from California to Mexico. I believe it might be Arizona and New Mexico, somewhere right around that corner. Um, we're in the International International uh, HX520. Got the C16 Caterpillar by Z Mods and uh, Eaton Very Fuller left. Eaton Fuller 13 speed in it. Uh, we got 44,092 pounds of concrete uh, tubing on the back. On uh, and we're using John Rudez flatbed trailer. We are off. Right, and then turn right. Actually started this video just right down the road. Turn Actually it right. was right down there where we picked this load up, but my dumbass forgot to switch the scene over, so we guys were staring at nothing but the blackness. Oh we got it fixed. You can see now. We are using Project Next Gen, this is a 1.0.8.3 or it might be 0 .03 The updated lighting and tweaked a few more things so it looks pretty good I think It still runs good and everything But actually with the mod, I actually get better frame rate with the mod than I do just the base game This thing got a D uh, Cummins, Ugh, fucking a, a Caterpillar C16 and 800 horses with a 13 speed. I think it's a 3.55 gear ratio in the differential. So we got uh, 377 miles to go here. Um, about seven and a half hours in game time and it looks like it's going to be about 22 to 23 minutes in real life time. But just sit back, uh, get you a drink, crew, sit back and enjoy the ride. If we're going to hit every way station there is, I got a feeling. Just, I mean, it just makes it take a little bit longer. No big deal. Vehicle's not technical. What? I just bought the fucking truck. I didn't drive nowhere from the from the garage to the damn pickup place. We find out. 1% damage. Go straight on. No, I thought I'd give this truck a try. I kind of like an international, really. I, that's what the very first truck I ever drove was an old International 9400i Eagle. It was a piece of shit. I believe it was like an old, it's an O2 or O4 model. And this was in um, 2006 or 2007 is when I drove. 
when we were right in that area. The end of 2006, beginning of 2007. Go straight on. Ten four on that. Go straight on there, driver. Since you didn't get a look at the outside of it earlier, because of my stupidity. That's what she looks like. It's a different kind of look to it, but I guess it's alright. Got a little short stubby hood on it. I didn't know what medallion Keep thing right. to hang there. It didn't and have a choice of right. very many. I think I had like a choice of three of them. So I just put the Hope Trucker up there. Exit right. Take a few of so. Um that might get us there. I'm gonna be pushing it. Not exactly not the average fuel mileage is on this thing yet. This engine is the, well, I already said, Go the Caterpillar C16 engine by Z-Mods. I don't know if I said Z-Mods or not, but I choose. Who is from? I can't remember exactly where I got this truck at, because it's been a while. It's been a long while. Go straight on. I think I got it from the uh, Steam Workshop. Box on Route 66. That's a fucking dinosaur. That's a dinosaur. Go straight on. What the hell's going on with that fucking bush? Three. That's our good old international try. Something different. I've had it for a while and mean to use it. International was first truck I ever drove. It was the old uh, I-94 100 Eagle. It was a piece of shit. I don't know if it's in high range or low range. That's what screwed me up. I don't have the actual uh, target switch on the shifter. I got to use a button on the steering wheel. So I got to have something there that tells me high or low. Because well, I guess it says it down there on the dash, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. I just not notice that. I don't need that up there, then. Actually, we take that truck away, too. Yep. All right. 
Oh man, got a little fly shit on my monitor. That'll clean it. Oh shit, that's just smeared it. Oh well. Juicy little bastard. We off to Mexico. cooking pies with my baby with the damn trap queen song stuck in my head need you break off well, we can get his mobile home there Well, they're not selling those things. They really look like they're from the fucking 70s. Posture check. There we go. I like the way the dash and stuff set up in this thing, it's pretty nice. I might put some good work into it too. Go straight on. You got on that trailer with a big roller? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to fight with them. I'll just let them go on around. Car, you're not going around, though. No. I can tell you that damn much. You fall your ass in behind. Come on, Captain Joe, let's go. Ice may be present. The high speed chicken feed, driver. Downloaded the uh, 9900i Eagle truck too. I haven't drove it yet.
not really much customization to it that you can do. Um, I wish I'd add some more, but I don't think it's going to happen. I don't even think they're updating the mod anymore. Oh, well, I think I found it. Is it. I either found this mod in the Steam Workshop or on the SES forums. Mr. HX520. Use lower gear. Salt River Canyon. Hell's Angels. Let's see, we have a fuel station coming up. We don't need fuel though. Just have enough keyword there should. about 4.8 miles to go and that's pretty damn good it's respectable especially when you got a big old c16 caterpillar that's just a massive engine right there Shit. I'm trying to look at the scenery, but I don't want her to crash either. I don't think I've ever been through here. I did, it's only been once or twice. And then turn left. 35. Turn left. Wrong gear. Keep 
right and then turn right. Turn right. Seventy seven South. Tucson. 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 Everybody doing a 32 million. You guys doing pretty good, huh? Things going pretty good here. Should be, uh... Getting me a new hard drive this week sometimes. Hopefully. If not this week, it definitely will be next. And possibly my track IRs, if they're not back ordered still. I haven't really checked on them, so. Everything should run nice and smooth after that. It's not on wood. I'm not having much trouble as it is right at the moment. I got everything on high running 4K scaling with 200, 4K resolution with 200 scaling. I can do 300 scaling and it drops about, I don't know, like five frames per second. But I'm still getting 60 plus frames per second. Could turn the B sync if I turn the B sync off, then I'd get a lot more. But I got a shitty monitor, so I have to have the B sync on, or it gets really bad tearing. Maybe I should get a new monitor, too. I like that one of those big curved ones. My brother got some big curved one and he got it on sale somewhere, I don't know. I didn't have the money at the time where I would have bought one too, but that's pretty good. It's a 14, 144 gigahertz frequency. So that means it should do that much frames per second, so. Oh, with the American Truck Simulator, you don't really want to. If you have problems running it, make sure you put the uh, frequency like lock it at 60 or below like 59. That'll help stabilize the game. For some reason it just doesn't like anything above 60. It just doesn't get along with it. Keep right, and then turn right. Oh, tanker yanker. I ain't got a radio tower over there. That's pretty good. Is that a radio tower? Yeah, that looks like a radio tower. Cell tower. I like the fact they added little stuff like that into the game. It just makes it more realistic. That's what I like. 
I could get on here and drive like a maniac, race up and down the roads and everything too, but Turn right. I don't find no uh, enjoyment out of doing that. turned down that way. I've done that in games. Skybox looks, that's pretty good. Keep right and then turn right. Say this lane. Turn right. Six kilometers, kilometers, kilometers. Yeah, kilometers. I should have a bigger gap between me and a car, but again, it's a game. This truck ain't that bad. It's a bit of a smaller truck, but it still does good. Keep right and then exit right. We don't have to cross into Mexico. Exit right. Your truck route. Start that shit again. Keep right and then turn right. You can definitely tell when you start to cross over to a modded part of the map. Turn right. 
I'm turning around. Hold on to your Scooby Snacks. Love is in the air tonight. Go straight on. It's a big old fat line. Race. Should I launch it just hold it to the floor and just dump the clutch? Try that before and then I don't work for kid in the truck. the cocaina I said hide it don't do it straight on. Get ready to turn left. Turn left. Turn left. It's all over now. Thank God. Get that extra XP. Rock my baby. His own turned off. Another look at it. Not a bad truck. I enjoy driving it. Get 
379 miles, 9 hours, 5 minutes, 84.2 gallons of fuel burned. $29,491. And we have passed level 4. Finally, we're king of the road. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to do all that good YouTube stuff. Like, Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and leave a comment down below. We'll see you in the next video. Have a great day.